Lent week 2 Thursday A reading from the commentary of Saint Hilary on the Psalms concerning the true fear of the Lord Blessed is every one who fears the Lord who walks in his ways Whenever scripture speaks of the fear of the Lord we notice that it is never mentioned on its own as if fear could by itself bring our faith to perfection instead much else is said either before or afterwards to help us understand the principle of fearing the lord and how this fear can be made perfect this we know from what solomon says in the book of proverbs if you would cry out for insight and raise your voice for understanding if you seek it like silver and search for it as for treasure then you will understand the fear of the lord we see how many steps we must climb to come to fear the lord first we must call wisdom to our side we must hand over our intellect the whole task of making choices we must seek wisdom out and track her down then we shall understand what it is to fear the lord certainly this is not how the ordinary run of men think about fear fear is the trembling of human weakness frightened of suffering that we do not want to happen to us this fear is caused in us and stirred by our consciousness of our guilt or by the power of one stronger than ourselves or the aggression of one too powerful for us or it may be caused by sickness or the attack of a wild animal or the infliction of any evil this fear then is not taught but it comes from our human weakness we do not learn what we ought to fear rather the things we fear themselves instill their own dread in our minds but of the true fear of god we read come o sons listen to me i will teach you the fear of the lord the fear of god then is something to be learned because it is taught its origins are found by way of teaching and not in fright we must find it by obeying commands by doing the good deeds of a blameless life and by coming to know the truth and not in moments of human terror all our fear of god is inspired by love perfect love of god makes fear perfect we show our love of god especially when we follow his advice conform to his laws and trust in his promises we must follow the words of scripture and now israel what does the lord your god require of you but to fear the lord your god to walk in all his ways to love him and to keep his commandments with all your heart and with all your soul that it may be well with you many indeed are the ways of the lord for he himself is the way when he spoke of himself he called himself the way and he told us why he had done so in these words no one comes to the father except by me we must then examine many ways and start out on many of them so that we may find the one way which is good the way of eternal life following the instructions of many different teachers there are ways provided by the law or the prophets or the gospels or the apostles we find ways to in the various works of the commandments those who walk in such ways in the fear of god 
are blessed